With your experience, what could be some separating factors from high-level junior to now competitive collegiate player or amateur, and then from competitive collegiate amateur to a professional? Well, that's a, that's a good question because, and this one especially is in relation, uh, relates to parents mm -hmm. as well, right? Um, High-level junior golfer, is all going to be based on your skill set, okay. right? So your ability to drive a golf ball, hit irons, hit bunker shots, pit shots, chip shots, putts. It's the same at every level. Mm -hmm. You got some people who are just drive it unbelievable and their irons are iffy. So there's guys who just do one thing incredibly well and that keeps them there. But for the most part, the best players in the world do everything well. Right. And then everyone on tour do a few things very well too, mm -hmm. right? So. I mean, the one thing that the kids need to realize is that sometimes being the best in the country at 15 is a curse as much as it is a gift. So we, we can't say that we can see really any correlation between being the best at 15, 16, and 17 and making it. We can't. Because at some point, golf's going to get difficult for everybody. Right. And if it hasn't been difficult your whole life, it's come quite easy to you. Even though you've worked hard, it's not been overly difficult to figure it out. Is that when it gets more difficult, that's kind of when we see you know, what, you're, what you're made of at that point. And, and trust me, it's going to get difficult. Right. So, you know, was Victor Hovland and Colin Morikawa and Matt Wolf and Justin Thomas and Roy McIlroy and all these guys the best when they were younger? They were always extremely good. But they're unicorns. They're not what's realistic. One of my players, Mike Gligic, made it to the PGA Tour after being on the Canadian Tour for nine years. Mike Gligic was good enough to make a cut on the PGA Tour when he was 20. It just took him time to get there. Right. But getting to the PGA Tour, you have to understand that. That's like getting to the NBA or the NFL. That's like almost getting to the Supreme Court. Right? Mm -hmm. It's almost getting to being on the board of a Fortune 500 company, there's very few people who will ever reach that height. Right. Because I think for the most part, deep down, like how much do people want it? It's easy to say, oh, I wanna play on the PGA Tour, or I wanna get a college scholarship. But just think about what you need to do to get a scholarship to college um, in biology, or business, or engineering. You have to be the best of the best. You have to be the best of the best. So that means that you probably have a special skill at it, but then you're able to grind through the ups and downs of the whole thing yeah. and not let your faith in yourself sway based on what kind of day you're having. So to me, what's happening is that as we get to a certain point, there's going to be some skill sets. There's a lot of guys who are wide receivers who are really good in high school. Mm -hmm. They catch everything, but they run a four, six and they're five foot eight. And at the college level, very rarely is that going to work because there's going to be someone who can catch the ball too, but he's 6'4", 220. So that's what we start to see as time goes on. We kind of start to see genetics having as much effect as anything. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You could be the best shooter ever in basketball at 5'5". Five five. But it's just, I don't understand how that player is not going to get blocked all the time in the NBA. So. Really, the, that's the difference is if, if people put their mind to it, most can attain a college scholarship. But from there, it's like, don't put the pressure on yourself. Just, you gotta stay organic with the process and just keep going. Yeah. The PGA Tour is made up of a lot of guys who, to be honest with you, if you watch them play, you would think, you know what, if I work really hard, I think I could attain that level. And then there's 10 other unicorns where one, when you watch them, you know they're just really special but you don't have to be that special to make it on the PGA Tour. But you need to have a system, you need to have a great support group, and then you have to be ready to go and deal with all the hurricanes that the game is gonna throw your way. And really just keep staying on track and keep working. And, and understand like, going through bad times is fine. You will never see an experienced sailor who's learned on calm seas. So it's just not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, then you would never have any joy when you had finally kind of, you know, 
got over that hurdle. So I'll work for six months with like a lot of hardship just to feel that one night of joy. It's totally worth it.